Hello and welcome back to the another video of the Java tutorial series. So till now we have covered exercise 2 part 1 and this is video for the exercise 2 part 2 wherein we will be covering the uh, solution for the two programs that is the fourth and fifth one. So let's get started. Uh, what is the problem statement? Write a program that prom prompts the user to an input and integer and then outputs the number with the digits reverse. So basically uh, one string we have to provide to the user and we have to reverse it okay for example uh, if the string is one two three four five then the output should be uh, five four three two one okay so let me just open my ide and this is the our previous video we have seen first second and third question solution now i will continue here for the fourth solution so we required uh, to take input from the user uh, that I have that's why I have imported the scanner class okay and now I just required one number because we have to reverse a number okay so I have declared a variable called number and another variable which will hold the number which which is reversed one okay now I will print I will accept uh, one input from the user enter the number uh, then here I will write number is equals to uh, let me just see what is my object name first can be sc yes sc dot next int okay so we have accepted one input from the user and stored it inside the variable called number now I will I will require one another variable called temp and one variable name remainder and I will assign the value 0 to it okay so here I will be using while loop while my temp is greater than 0 okay and oops I forgot to assign value to the temp so temp will hold the value of the number uh, because uh, we are in this uh, line number 40, 44 we are assigning the numbers value to the temp because we are we are not changing uh, or uh, modifying the actual number because we required that number to check whether that uh, original number or the reverse number are the same or not that's why I have copied that number inside the temp variable okay so here we will write remainder is equals to temp mod 10 and after that don't worry I will explain you what I have done here you just watch reverse into sorry 10 plus remainder okay and again temp is equals to temp uh, divide is equals to 10 and uh, in line number 54 uh, let me just increase the font size okay in line number 54 is same as this uh, so don't get confused what I have done here temp is equals to uh, wait a minute I will just comment it out temp is equals to temp divided by 10 so and that's just a shortcut to write uh, this whole statement okay uh, this is what I am doing in the while loop and after that I will print and check not check we just have to reverse okay reverse of number holds the original number is and our reverse number is inside the reverse temp uh, variable okay reverse okay so this is the string this is the actual okay so here you can see uh, 
let's suppose I have uh, let me explain you what I have done here inside the while loop okay uh, so let's suppose our input is 1 2 3 4 5 okay and our temp will hold the number numbers value that is the actual number value okay and uh, whether my temp is greater than 0 whether this is greater than 0 uh, whether this is greater than 0 yes it will come inside inside the loop and remainder is equal to temp mod 10 temp what is temp 1 2 3 4 5 mod 10 okay so here the remainder will get stored when that is the last digit mod 10 the last digit will get stored inside the remainder okay and now reverse value uh, initially reverse value is 0 so here 0 into 10 that is 0 plus 5 so this will result 5 and uh, in first iteration reverse value will get stored as 5 and and here we are just divide dividing our temp number by 10 means 1 2 3 4 5 divided by 10 which is equals to 1 2 3 4 and again we are going to check for the loop and again and this time we will be checking whether the 1 2 3 4 is greater than 0 yes it will come inside the loop and it will uh, by mod 10 we will we will be getting the last digit of this number that is 4 and inside uh, reverse then now the reverse value previously was 5 5 into what is the uh, uh, 10 5 into 10 is 50 plus what is the new remainder's value is 4 plus 4 now this is this is equals to 54 okay so this is 54 and now we again we will divide by temp's value by 10 so now the temp value is 1 2 3 okay so this how this is how a while loop will run and one point will came where the temp's value will be 0 and where 0 is greater than 0 will be get evaluated as false and we will get out of this loop and we will just print the original number and the reverse number okay so let me just run this uh, wait by the way if you guys are liking this series do comment and like and share okay uh, so the number i will give input as one two three four five and then let's, let's see huh, here you can see reverse of one two three four five is okay just let me give one space over here five four three two one okay uh, so if you guys don't know how the loop is running then please do watch the loop video that i have covered uh, each and every uh, loop which is there in the java and uh, if you want to see how this is working then you can put one debug pointer over here uh, not here wait here and you can just debug this okay uh, wait allow access okay uh, so my debug pointer is here I will click on here okay scanner class I uh, will take uh, uh, in the console I will input the number one two three four five okay now I will go in the debugger now you can see number value is one two three four five which is getting stored inside it uh, now again if I click remainder is zero and see uh, it is evaluating as true because one two three four five is greater than zero okay it will come inside the loop and uh, it will do uh, one two three four five mod ten and the remainder value will get in stored is zero and here you can see uh, now after executing the 40 uh, 48 line the uh, remainder value will getting stored as 5 okay because 1 to 3 for 5 mod 10 is equals to 5 okay so what is the reverse value initially 0 0 into 10 0 plus 5 uh, plus 5 is equal to 5 now if i if, if i click here uh, here you can see reverse value will be updated as 5 and remainder will as 5 and uh, after doing this now the 5 is eliminated from that original temp number because if I, if I do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 divided by 10, it, it, it gives me 1, 2, 3, 4, okay. Uh, like this, uh, you, you can debug this. Uh, debugger uh, is best when you don't know how the uh, loops are working internally, how the flow, flow of the code is going. Okay, so you can use this 
feature of debugging okay so that that is about uh, program number four let let's go into the program number five okay so what is program number five write a program to print the fibonacci series of n terms where n is the input by the user okay so i hope you know what is fibonacci series if no let me just comment it out and i will explain you okay so here we are i'm commenting out this as fifth solution okay so fibonacci series is nothing but uh, let me just comment it out and i will show you fibonacci series start from the uh, zero and it goes like zero one one uh, two like that because uh, what is the formula for the fibonacci series fibonacci series is nothing but the uh, the place where uh, the number is is a p addition of the previous two numbers okay the uh, series start from 0 and 1 the third number will determine as the addition of the previous two numbers okay so what is 0 plus 1 is 1 and now for this position we we have to uh, add the its previous two numbers okay so what is 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2 and likewise uh, series goes on okay so we are we have to print the series here okay so i, I again i am require one variable number okay to hold the number of terms which is given by the user and i will again required one variable called as first term and i will assign it as zero because the series starts from zero okay and the second term of the series uh, is one and that is going to hold here and the third Term. okay now let me just give it okay third term okay now i will just print one line where we require is telling the user to input one number enter the number of terms so sorry you want in the series okay and over here i will be doing sc dot next in sorry sc dot next in okay now after getting input from the user i will just print the first two number of the series because those are fixed those will never change because series start from 0 and 1 as we know okay and after this i will give one space between two numbers and again again i will concatenate it with second term now i will be running one for loop where int i is equals to 3 by this time uh, i hope you guys are getting why oh, i have wrote three over there because the first two terms are fixed and uh, i don't want my loop to run from zero or one because first and second terms are fixed okay so that's why i'm running running my loop from third position and my i's value is less than equals to the numbers value each time i am doing i plus plus okay so over here i will be assigning the third term is equals to the addition of the first term and the second term okay and i will be printing third term and after that i will be giving one space with, so that the next 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 time i will be printing the uh, another term so that one extra space would be there between each term okay uh, so here i don't required ln because i don't want the series to be printed in the straight line i will i want the print to print the series in the one line itself okay uh, so over here i will be assigning the first term value as the second term and the second term value should be third term okay so here you can see uh, 
uh, first term and second terms are fixed for the first first time we are, when we are uh, iterating our low loop that is 0 and 1 third term value will be a 0 plus 1 is 1 we will print the 1 as third term and we will assign, change, update the value of the first term to the second term that is uh, second term's value is 1 and and the second term's value is third term that is 1 so that next time we, if we iterate through this loop that is 1 plus 1 is true 2 okay and I guess this is pretty much about the fifth question let me just stop the run it okay okay that to the number of series that you want okay so let me just get the first 10 numbers of the series so over here you can see the first 10 number of the series is 0 1 uh, this is not 11 uh, I have done one mistake over here I have to print one extra space over here so that it will distinguish between this one and one okay let me just again run this okay I will print 10 so over here you can see 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34. These are the 10 numbers of the first first 10 numbers of the Fibonacci series. Okay. So for this problem also uh, you can put one debug pointer over here and uh, right click and click on the debug. Okay. It will run in the debug board where you can uh, see how the loops are working internally. Okay. So that this is pretty much about the exercise too. I hope you guys have given it a try to solve this question and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.